Hello and welcome to another video. This time we're going to be using a rather unusual filter to apply a painterly effect to this image. But before we do that, there's a few adjustments we're going to make. We're going to cover over this area of grey. We're then going to bring out a little bit more detail to the shadow regions of the image. Right, let's make a start. Over to the layers panel, I'm going to put in a new empty layer. To the toolbox, we're going to pick up the clone stamp tool. Going down to tool options, there's the clone stamp tool. I've got a soft edge brush, which is 100 pixels. Also make sure you tick the sample all layers, that is very important. Clicking down, coming over to this region, we're going to pick pixels up from this area. So I'm going to press and hold down alter option, just readjusting it, selecting pixels from here. Coming down over there, just going back and forth a few times. Picking up pixels again, just filling in, just picking up from this area, coming down. I'm going to go over to this side and I'm just going to fill in this region here like that. Coming down a little bit further, filling in this area of grey. I always clone to a new empty layer, a bit of a habit, but I find if you make a mistake, you can just erase the part you don't like and then carry on. But that looks pretty good. So the next thing we're going to do is, first of all, I'm going to get my hand tool back by pressing H on the keyboard. That's better. Right, we're now going to stamp these two layers together. All you need to do is press and hold down Alt or Option. So hold down that Alt Option key. Coming across the layer, we're going to come down to Merge Visible. Clicking on this is now stamping those layers together. Right, now we're going to bring the detail out. So let's come to Enhance. We're going to come down to Adjust Lighting, going across to Shadow and Highlights. Now that's just a little bit too strong on the default of 35, so let's drop it down. I'm going to come down to 20%, should do nicely. Switching the preview off and on, looks good like that. Clicking on OK. We're now going to bring even more detail out of the image. We're going to duplicate the layer, so I'm going to use Command J or Control J. We're now going to head up to Filter, coming down to Other, coming across to High Pass. Now this is going to sharpen the image up. I've got a radius set of two pixels. That's the lineage I'm looking at. I'm ignoring all these little dots, which is noise in this particular picture. And we're going to click on OK. Let's head over to Normal for the Blend Mode. We're going to come down and select Overlay. That looks pretty good, just switching it off and on. And you can see how we've, in effect, sharpened the picture. Right, we're now going to merge this layer down with Layer 2. Now, there's a very, very simple shortcut. Press, hold down, Command or Control. So press, hold down, Command or Control. Now press the letter E, and there it is. We have merged it down. Let's rename Layer 2. I'm going to double-click. We're going to call this Paint effects. Right, pressing enter or return to apply it. Now to apply our paint effect, we're going to head to filter, coming down to stylize, we're going to come across to diffuse and with diffuse down to the very bottom one, we're going to tick anastropic and we're going to click on OK. Notice that paint effect has now started to be applied. The background, the noise has all disappeared as well. But looking at the image, if we go in closer, pressing spacebar, now command or control, we're in at 100%, going to 200%. We've got these lines. So what we're going to do next is we're going to start rotating the image and reapplying the filter. Let's zoom out. I'm going to go to 100%, spacebar, alt option for the zoom in out tool. There it is, 100%. Let's come up to image, rotate, I'm going to go 90 degrees to the right. If I just move this to the center, filter, diffuse, there it is, that last filter we applied. The shortcut, this is important. Control F, clicking on this. That's now reapplying the filter. Image, rotate, 90 degrees to the right, just centralizing it, that shortcut. Control F, Command F to reapply it. That goes. Image, rotate, 90 degrees to the right, there it is, our rather motion sick looking little doggy. Control F, Command F, and nearly went back to the filter menu, but you couldn't see that. Right, image, rotate, 90 degrees to the right or left, there it is, one last time. Control F, Command F, and there it is. Now there is our painterly effect, let's zoom in even closer. Now let's take a look, those lines have disappeared, that looks really good. Right, zooming out to fit on screen, Control-0, 
Command zero will do that. We're now going to duplicate this layer to bring more detail out. So it's Command J, Control J. We're going to double click. We're going to call this the filter we're going to use, which is USM Unsharp Mask. Enhance down the bottom. There it is, Unsharp Mask. Now I am using a radius of two pixels. That's the most I have ever used. On a normal image, I'd use 1.0, 1.2, pushing it 1.3 at an absolute max. So this one, two pixel radius is yeah, new grounds. Coming in, we have got 124. Yeah, the normal amount I'd use is about 100% absolute maximum. And just looking around, that really does look good. Spacebar, now I'm gonna use Command or Control. Let's zoom in. Switching it off and on, you can see the additional detail we're now bringing out. So I'm gonna click on OK. Next, let's take a look at these eyes. We're gonna bring a little bit more detail out of the whites. So I'm gonna come up to the toolbox. I'm gonna to pick up the elliptical marquee tool. If you come down to tool options, there it is. If you've got the rectangular marquee, click on this one. Also make sure you click this little box here for the new selection. I'm gonna click down roughly in the top area, just dragging it out. You can see I'm a little bit out, but because we've used that new selection, as soon as you come inside that selection, you get that rectangle with a little flag on the top. I'm gonna to move it to this region. Here it will do nicely. Right, for the other eye, no, I am not going to use the elliptical marquee tool. Instead, I'm going to use the freehand lasso. So make sure you've selected the freehand lasso, which is this one, and also make sure you click on this, which is the add to selection. Because even though we've used the elliptical marquee tool, you can use other of the selection tools as well. Just coming around this, you'll notice that little plus symbol as well with the lasso as I come around, coming back to the top, and there it is. Okay, heading up to an adjustment layer, coming down to levels, and you can see there's a gap in the histogram. Let's move this across. As I'm moving it across, notice the way the eyes are brightening up. Come into the center slider. Just going to take this very slightly to the left-hand side to brighten it further. Just to this region here will do nicely. Clicking on the eye icon, no pun intended, so back and forth. Yeah, that looks better. Let's close this down as well, out of the way. Right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to head up to an adjustment layer. I'm going to come back down to levels. Now, just using Command-0, zero, Control-0 zero to go to fit on screen. Let's take a look at this. Just want to brighten the image up a little bit. So I'm going to come to the center slider. Going to move this over into this region here. Let's take a look at the, the bright point, the white point here. Just move, moving it to that region there. That looks better. Once again, clicking on that eye icon. You see the before and the after. You can see the way we've just brightened up the image. I want to bring a little bit more detail out of the color. I'm also going to press H on the keyboard to give me back my hand tool. So once again, to an adjustment layer, we're going to come down to hue saturation. Now I want it to come out of this region. So I've got a feeling that's going to be red. So from channel, master, let's select red at the top. Pick up an eyedropper tool. I'm going to bring it out into this region here. If I click down, yes, notice the way that just jumped across very slightly. Coming to the saturation slider, I'm going to move this over. And as I'm moving it over into this region here, there, I like the way that's looking. Coming down to the eye icon again, switching off and on. A little bit of the green, the yellow has come out both over here and down here. Now, if you come to the end stop, what we're actually doing is we've got, this is the main area, the main color we're using. It's then feathering out, it's coming down into the purples there, the magentas. It's coming into the, the yellow, the brown, which we're using. It's just coming to the yellows, the greens. So I'm gonna move this in. So moving this stop in, just taking it to that region there. That looks better. Now switching it off and on, and you can see it's having less of an effect around here and we can see the colors coming out of our little dog. Right, let's close it. Now I'm gonna leave it as it is for just a moment because next and finally, we're going to add a vignette. So picking up our elliptical marquee tool, dragging it over the subject like this will do nicely. Coming back up, making sure we select an adjustment layer, hue saturation. Notice the way the adjustment layer changed. Going to come to the lightness, going to take this right the way down. And you're thinking, hang on a second, the center's dark. 
for a vignette needs to be dark on the outside what well, all you need to do is press command or control so press and hold down command or control now press the letter i there it is we have now inverted the mask but i want to move this mask around so i'm going to use command t or control t so it's command t control t for the transform tool we can now click in we can now move this around i'm going to just swivel it round into this sort of angle let's lift it up very slightly like this let's drag it out like that there it looks pretty good just taking it out a little bit further here perhaps dropping it down very slightly into this area double click into apply but we've got some very hard edges filter blur stay gaussian blur and yes if i just come to the edge here was the vignette just clicking down moving it clicking down you can see there's that hard edge we have got 98.5 pixel radius that looks really good just switching it off and on you can see the difference that's making let's click on ok now what you can always do i'll just drop it down just slightly with the lightness just blending it in a little bit more and there it is there is our finished image we started off i'm just going to hold down alt or option let's click on the bottom eye icon that is what we started off with there it is there is our finished image i'm going to use command one or control one to go to fit on screen there is the painterly effect let's zoom back out again command zero control zero to do that save it in layers that way you can make any adjustments for example if you think this is just a little bit too strong with the vignette select the layer drop down the opacity i'm going to take it to this region here looking at the rest of the image yes please with the the hue saturation that looks pretty good brightening up the image you see the way that's working as well the eyes if you think it's just a little bit too strong select the layer drop down the opacity just to blend it in there that looks really good like that so there it is i hope you've enjoyed the video Give it the thumbs up if you have. Don't forget to subscribe. Plenty more videos to come. And click that little bell icon. That way you'll receive notifications every time a new video is posted. But until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.